Back in the early 2000s, you could have found these little joysticks that were games based off of movies, games, and TV shows. These things were called plug and play TV games. Today we'll be going through four plug and play TV games that were based off of the show SpongeBob SquarePants. One that came out in 2003, 2005, 2007, and 2009. The first one that we're looking through was released in 2003 and it contains five games. Spongebob's Bubble Pop, Sandy Surf Adventure, Invasion of the Hooks, Patrick in the Maze, and the Super Chum Bucket. In Spongebob's Bubble Pop, you have to pop all the other bubbles and break the barrier above. And also, you could collect the bonus letters if you want to. This one's just a generic Bubble Pop game. There's really nothing special to it, but the sound effects do give it a bit of charm. Funnily enough, there is no music in this plug and play. Only sound effects and little tunes. Sandy Surf Adventure is a shoot 'em up game reminiscent of Missile Command and other games. There are many levels in this game, though I cannot properly play this game well as there are many enemies and you are limited to 3 lives. In this game, you have to fight away all the little sea creatures and get to the end to defeat the bullworm. This is probably one of the better ones in this plug and play. Invasion of the Hooks, which is based on the episode Hooky, has you playing as Spongebob and you have to fire the Krabby Patties at the hooks. So you can get Patrick, Squidward, Sandy lifted up to the shore. Some hooks can be hit once, but there are others that can be hit three or four times. This one can get repetitive, so this one's a meh. Patrick in the Maze is an adventure maze game where you go around collecting treasures and defeating jellyfish. When you encounter Gary, you can play a minigame called Musical Clams, which is essentially Simon Says. This one's alright, although I don't know how I could beat this maze well it's a maze so I don't know where I'm supposed to go but this one's interesting though it can get a bit boring finally the super chum bucket which is basically Donkey Kong in this one you play as Spongebob and guide him to a platform all the way up to plankton like I said earlier this one's basically Donkey Kong so this one's probably one of the good ones too. This wraps up the first plug and play. The next one is called Spongebob the Fry Cook Games which was released in 2005. And this one's based on that one episode in season 2, the Fry Cook Games. Play as Spongebob or Patrick in many championships to get gold. To get gold you have to play a bunch of mini games. One of the games include hurdles where you have a tray and you're not supposed to drop them. The next one has you on a high board falling down and you're supposed to complete the sequence that the game tells you on the control pad. After that there's a mini game where you're supposed to keep the patty from not falling down and by hitting them with your spatulas. After flinging some patties you're supposed to dash through the pickles and collect them all with your barrel. In a way, it kind of reminds me of Angry Birds. I don't know why. Collect many zesty pickles as you can and avoid jellyfish. Next one is a shoot 'em up where you're supposed to shoot the patties with ketchup and mustard. You could do both or either one. Finally, we have another one that's pretty much like DDR in a way. Where you skate on a grill and complete the sequence that you see on the right. 
after you completed that, you get to see your results. Oh my God. Unfortunately, I got third. There are some other games that I probably missed out because uh, they're from other places in this game. But, I can say that this is probably one of the best plug and play games you'll play. As, even though it can get repetitive, it's pretty fun. The next one is called Jellyfish Dodge, which was released in 2007. This is actually one that I grew up with when I was younger. This one contains four games. Jellyfish Dodge, which is the main game, gives you a task in each level, such as whacking jellyfish, or getting to a goal, or surviving for an amount of time. Out of the four, this one's probably one of the best ones. And it's pretty fun, as you get a bunch of challenges and a lot of levels. Glide and Collide probably reminds me of Choo Choo Rocket, is where you get jellyfish and guide them to Spongebob. You guide them with these fans and put the right ones in the right place to get them to Spongebob. This one is pretty good too, and like I said, it reminds me of Choo Choo Rocket. Up next is Snowball Showdown, where you can compete with a bot or another person in a snowball fight. You just gotta aim it right and have enough power in order to defeat your opponent. Here's some fail attempts. This is another good one. It's good to play with another person as well. And finally, the last one is Sponge Pop, which is basically the first game from the 2003 one. I'm just gonna say that this one's way better than the original, as there's more powers in this one, and you can build a Krabby Patty as well, which is pretty cool. And the scenery in the background is pretty good. It, it's just screenshots from the show. And the music's pretty relaxing too. It's the same thing you do here. You just gotta break the barrier and go. The last plug and play that I'll be showing is Spongebob Bikini Bottom 500. What's cool about this one is that it's motion based. It's like Mario Kart Wii. And here you, there's only six characters. Wait, I just noticed something. Why does he have brown pants? This game has five places where you can race. Although all of them are locked except for Jellyfish Fields. Out of the four consoles, this one has the best graphics. The sound is also pretty good. The music is bumpy and happy. And also, the sound effects are also pretty good too. In each course that you take, there's always a little challenge you get to do in the middle of the race. That is, if you have to pull the steering wheel or push, it, it, does, it changes every map. In between every race, you get to repair your vehicle if you damaged it. You get damaged if people bump into you, get stung by a jellyfish, or hit into some rocks. Also, the pictures they use in the repair scenes are kind of cool to see. Most of them are just PNGs on another image or just original stuff. Not only do you race in jellyfish fields, but you also get to go to Goo Lagoon, the kelp forest, Bikini Bottom, but now it's a winter wonderland. The revenge. Oh my god. I did a lot of damage on him. Song and the sulfur fields, which is kind of a bizarre pick for a location, but oh well. This plug and play is the one that I remember the most out of this and Jellyfish Dodge. I might be a bit biased, but this one's probably the best one out of all the SpongeBob plug and plays. But I can't really say that much because all of them are good in their own way. They're all pretty good plug and plays, and for their time, they're really nice to have. Even if we had Nintendo consoles or PlayStation or Xboxes, these are really good things from the 2000s that we've all forgotten. So that's the SpongeBob plug and plays. More will come soon.